about to record War all the time. And I remember, um, you know, one night the major labels, they would all come and get us drunk and, like, bring a bunch of cocaine and stuff. So, you know, like, three or four in the morning, you'd be saying stuff that you would never tell anybody because you were so high that you didn't care. Um, but I remember I, I made the mistake of telling um, of telling our a &R guy about my upbringing and how my parents were really into, like, music of the hippies and stuff and would take me to see shows all the time, but that the music that I really loved when I kid when I was a kid was uh, commercial jingles. I just loved commercial jingles. And <laughs> for years I thought like someday that would be what I would do is I'd write like catchy commercial jingles. <laughs> and, uh, and I told him and he was like, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, that's amazing. <laughs> and he was like so into it. Um, <laughs> so he got like me a separate house from the rest of the band and he was like, you just keep making those fucking commercial songs. I'm like, We're gonna be rich, you know, rich. <laughs> so. Uh, so I started trying to write, but I realized I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't come up with a song because I didn't have like a pro a product. You know, I didn't have the right product. <laughs> and, uh, and and like the gold standard that I loved when I was a kid was like um, was um, was meow mix. You know, um, that meow 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 meow. I know it's like it's like um, it's like Bach. You know, it's like genius. <laughs> So, like, I wasn't aspiring to that level, but I was like, maybe I could bring it down a couple notches and find something, and I could never find the perfect product. Um, and then I had this idea, which was, you know, it was 2003. Uh, the U.S. had declared that we were going to go to war in Iraq, even though we had no evidence of why we would do that. Um, and I thought, you know, that's, God, I wish, you know, I wish I could write a commercial for a bomb, because it's like the perfect product, you know? It's like people need it. They, they always want to blow each other up. Um, but you can't reuse it, so you got to buy a new one every time. And the market uh, doesn't even set the price; it's federally funded. So, man, this is like the perfect product. And I started, <laughs> I started writing jingles for bombs, and this is the song that came out of it. <laughs> Lockheed Martin loves it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a story about that that I'll tell you right after. <laughs> jet plane yawning miles across the sky hear the garbage truck back down the boulevard sitting off the car blinds as it passes by do you hear the static of one thousand D2 radio shut the window world outside don't want to think about anyone the footsteps are getting louder drowning out the sound of the rain as it knocks on the windowsill I'm not answering the phone let it ring lately I've been feeling like falling bottom cause the ground is getting closer and the sky is falling down This song has been brought to you This song has been By falling bombs By falling bombs By falling bomb 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 By falling bomb, by falling bomb. Thanks.
So I, I brought it to Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. <laughs> and they said, yeah, but Taking Back Sunday's already got a song about a bomb and it's way catchier than that one. <laughs> I, I said, I told that story to somebody and they're like, why are you talking shit on Taking Back Sunday? I was like, are you kidding? I told that, song, I told that story to Adam and he said, goddamn right it'd be catchier. <laughs>